Sucia. So what's up guys, we're back. In this video, we will talk about some physics in GTA 6 leaks that will surely blow your mind to jiggling of, you know what, games that might rival GTA 6, facts and more. Come with us as we disseminate everything. But before we get started, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button for more awesome content. Rockstar really hit something with this one. They really did a good job. From all the realistic features they can add to the game, this is the best. This could also be one of the reasons why kids won't be able to play GTA anymore. This may sound ridiculous, but Rockstar wants to make the most realistic game possible. And of course, this includes going to extreme levels of development. We can see many characters in the trailer having recoil on their muscles, or what people want to call jiggle. The jiggle physics in Grand Theft Auto 6 are incredibly detailed and realistic as you can see if we zoom in on our two characters that are jogging with the little chihuahua like dog you definitely see some of the jiggle physics that we're talking about right here and what I mean by jiggle physics is literally how the characters react to moving they aren't just like these static robots there's parts of their body that move up and down in this instance with the girl you can actually see her ponytail if that's where you're looking but probably you're not looking at the ponytail anyways let's get on to the next one there's been a lot of talk in the gaming community lately Lately about a possible new rival for Grand Theft Auto 6. No, it's not about Mind's Eye, which made headlines last year. This time, the talk is about a new game from Dan Hauser's new studio, Absurd Ventures. Hauser, a major figure in the Grand Theft Auto series and one of the co-founders of Rockstar Games, left Rockstar in early 2020 and is now back in the game development scene with his own studio, and it has everyone talking. His announcements last year of two non-gaming projects led many to believe that. We were mistaken to think that Hauer was taking a break from game development to work on other projects. While it is true that they are developing an audio fiction series, a comic book, and an American caper in a better paradise, the studio also recently revealed that they are searching for a lead gameplay designer for a game that sounds a lot like Grand Theft Auto. The role will involve primary vision and hands-on contributions to character controls and camera design in an open-world action-adventure game. From the qualifications provided, it's clear that the studio is not stepping away from the gaming world. First and foremost, they want someone with five or more years of experience in combat design for an action game. This means that they're looking for a real pro who knows how to create engaging and dynamic combat systems. They also need someone who's developed both melee and shooting action mechanics. The person in this role will lead a team of multidisciplinary specialists to deliver best-in-class combat and third-person action across multiple game modes. Open-world action-adventure game sounds exactly like Grand Theft Auto. High attention to detail is a must, along with the ability to communicate and directly implement precise refinements. They're looking for someone who can polish a game to perfection, turning good experiences into great ones. Their comfort and confidence in the technical aesthetic and design aspects of gameplay are also crucial. Additionally, they're looking for sensitivity to animation systems and how they relate to combat and action gameplay design. In other words, they want combat that not only plays well, but looks smooth and natural too. They're also focusing on accessibility, aiming for someone who can reduce barriers to entry. They are looking for someone who can manage all of these requirements and still provide an incredible player experience. The posting also requests recent experience with direct implementation in the form of visual scripting or animation, so they need someone who can get their hands dirty and realize their ideas in the game engine. Developing non-combat forms of action gameplay, such as driving, climbing, traversing, platforming, and so on, is another requirement. They are obviously trying to create a rich, varied game world with lots of different activities for players, which again sounds a lot like Grand Theft Auto. They also note that leading multidisciplinary teams is a plus, and that working with co-development partners. This indicates that they are working on a technologically advanced project, but that's not all. They have posted a job listing for a senior art director as well. Interestingly, this listing uses much more general language, mentioning duties like creating visually stunning and cohesive game worlds that captivate players and overseeing the overall visual direction of our projects. They don't specifically mention any open world action adventure games here, so it appears that they are either purposefully omitting information about the GTA competitor project or that this role is for a different project entirely. Regardless, 
this news has undoubtedly sparked a lot of curiosity and excitement. The same is true for Leslie Bean, another veteran of Rockstar Games who was working on a game called Mind's Eye with his studio build Rocket Boy. The game was teased with a trailer last year and promises to be a mix of GTA's open world dynamics and the futuristic aesthetics of Cyberpunk 2077. Mind's Eye is set in a near future world featuring advanced technology and a sprawling interactive environment, though it's unclear if this new game can live up to the massive anticipation for GTA 6. It's definitely something to keep an eye on. That's what it looks like. Two former Rockstar giants are developing games that could compete with Grand Theft Auto 6. Hauser's new venture is still unknown, but its emphasis on storytelling implies that it will appeal to fans of GTA's rich storylines. Meanwhile, Benz's mind's eye is more tangible, providing a futuristic spin on the open world formula that might appeal to fans of both GTA and Cyberpunk. Not to mention the competitiveness these projects bring, Hauer and Benz's up upcoming games are expected to take on Grand Theft Auto 6, making a trifecta of high-stakes open-world games. Personally, I think that competition fosters innovation, and this could result in some of the most thrilling moments in gaming history. It's amazing to consider how the dissolution of Rockstar Games' founding team resulted in the development of three competitive games when GTA V was released more than 10 years ago. Back then, no one could have predicted that we would witness something like this. Rockstar was a powerhouse, with its core team still in place, producing some of the most influential games in the industry. However, fast forward 10 years and the landscape looks remarkably different. Let's talk about the lack of genuine competitors for the Grand Theft Auto series. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like there isn't a game out there that really matches GTA. Despite the unquestionably sad departures of Hauer and Benz from Rockstar, this does raise the possibility that GTA's monopoly may eventually come to an end. But for the time being, GTA stands alone. Watch Dogs had a cool start, but quickly veered off to do its own thing. I've looked for other games that offer a similar experience, especially something like Grand Theft Auto Online, where you can customize your character, roam a realistic setting, run businesses, and complete side missions. The game is a beast that set a high bar for open-world gaming with its blend of storytelling, freedom, and complexity. Saints Row was considered a mini-GTA competitor, but it leaned heavily into comedy and superpowers, making it a different beast altogether. However, nothing really compares, so that presents a challenge. The reason no one has attempted to seriously compete in Grand Theft Auto is similar to the reason why no one tries to play Minecraft. They just can't. On the other hand, creating a game that is Souls-like is quite simple. All you have to do is perfect the combat and controls and repeat it across multiple locations. I believe we were able to cover the majority of the interesting things that came up, but if there is anything noteworthy, please let me know in the comments section below. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button and the subscribe button, leave a comment down below of what you guys thought of this video, and yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out!